Hello, Mario. In this video, I'm going to take a little bit of a bit of a look at um, just working with PDF, and so that we can get things ready for the PDF posting on websites and to digital workspaces and stuff like that. So, first thing I'm going to do is go directly into the um, into the uh, into the Moodle site up here. So the quickest way to do that is just to go go straight up into here and start typing learning dot wintech dot ac dot nz oops dot ac dot nz and just click in there and that takes us in to the Moodle site because one of the key things when working with any PDF type document is that you need to have a copy of the file or a copy of the file on your hard drive so first thing you need to do is to just go to the uh, go to the Moodle site find the file that you want to deal with and make a copy of it so that you can that you can work with so here's my courses here and I want to go to land surveying one there and surveying XYZ over here which is this one here and the one I want to look at is I've got a little a little exercise down here um, of getting to know your level and it's just filling in a a level diagram so there it is just go straight to here let's save it to PDF on a on my silver drive which should be up here somewhere oh dear it doesn't appear to be here okay I'll put it in my passport J there just for now I'm going to put it into my temp file here um, where you put it, it's really up to you um, I'll just create a create a new folder to put it in so I'll call it my uh, PDF file there and I'm just going to go into there and save that uh, diagram there so that's that all should be done done and dusted in there and so then we can we've got our file we can now work on it so I'm just going to close that there and close out of the thing and now I'm just going to find my file hopefully um, explore and um, it's taking a wee bit of time to search around it oops we've got a bit of a problem there and we'll get there slowly here we go to my passport J into the temp file PDF file there and there's my file now the thing is to right click on it right click so there and go to open with and you can see there right away that I've got PDF exchange viewer a number of options Adobe reader and Adobe Acrobat now PDF exchange is a free viewer that you can download I have some people have been having a little bit of problems with it in Windows 8 but others seem to have overcome that problem so you can download the free PDF exchange viewer you can do a little bit of stuff in Adobe reader in terms of marking things up but for me the go-to one is Adobe Acrobat that is a, a paid a paid program and that allows you to add pages maybe start a PDF from scratch and that side of things which some of the others don't do obviously you get what you pay for so um, Adobe Acrobat comes at a price so let's just um, open our diagram with that and here we are it's opening up and here's our diagram and um, 
straight away so it's quite a large diagram now if you want to just make it quickly go to the full page just push control zero and that gives you a full page diagram now in, f in terms of the tools we have some tools over here in the program that allow us to rotate the page and um, we can extract pages replace crop split the document insert other other things from files and more insert options um, there's also um, a various other lots of different things that we can do here including um, if you do a bit of a search on Google or through the help that you can straighten pages and align them and do all sorts of things with it but some of these things you do need to uh, do a bit of research on and they're sort of beyond what I, I want to do here certainly there's the sign and cert, sign and certifying going on there so it's quite a powerful program in terms of dealing with this you can also turn on here the uh, comment so one we've got the tools and then over here the comment so we've got various annotations um, drawing markups over here which um, this is a text box uh, this is a call out box now some of these boxes you can pick them up and put them up here in the quick access menu and I've put the text box up there the call out and the cloud tool because they're the main ones I use there's also a line tool um, some various shapes and things that you can um, that you can use so I want to go into comment now the way this particular file is set up you'll notice that if I click on these 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 are call out boxes that are already there with the various um, things to them so um, you can all you need to do there is just to double click inside it and that should enable you to start writing text um, that's there's a circular bubble so um, you can see that that's writing in circular um, bubble you can see that that there's writing in um, in a black text now there's a little um, secret sort of command here that I had to search the internet for say for instance we want to do something different with the text what we do is highlight the text and then we hold down the control key and push E control E as you can see brings up the text box text properties um, toolbar there and that enables us to do various justification and alignment um, we can select various colors for the text if we wish um, we can check text we can choose the text um, size and style and as well as um, some sort of the usual bold italic underline superscript and subscript so there's some quite powerful things that can be done there with the text box so let's just um, we'll put that as red now so we'll change that to red now so that's the actual text itself but we can actually look click in here and that's the actual properties of the thing you might want to go right click also once you've got that selected for properties and um, that brings up the, um, the, the 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 properties of the of the call out box itself. So you can have um, the line ending. You can have a, a style. You can have um, no border if you wish. Um, thickness of the border. The fill color. You can change that if you wish, um, like so. And the opacity of the box, sort of whether it's see through or or not whether you can see what's in behind it and things like that now the thing is once you've decided what sort of boxes you want to have um, you can click this one here and that says make the properties default so what that means is when you draw if you say for instance draw another um, call out box here it won't affect the existing ones but if we drew another one you can see there that the um, it's got that yellow infill and that it's got the red text so um yeah that's really how we deal um with these these particular things now obviously we can get rid of that some of the things that you, you will have noticed obviously uh, you can see with this particular file when we opened it the the text boxes were all items there now you might want to create a pdf file and send it off but you don't want those text boxes to be e editable by the people that you're sending it to um, so the way to do around doing that is to actually print the file 
um, to PDF. So take this file here and just go file, um, file, print, and here it should come up. File print. Yeah. Oh, yes, print, and then choose um, to print it to PDF um, if you want, and um, and that'll ask you for a file name. And when you print print that file to PDF, I'm just going to cancel that now. Hopefully, you've got the idea of that. But when you print that file to PDF, it'll print as a flat file. So those as an image of what you see. So those boxes that are actually in PDF um, objects and things will just be flat and they won't be able to open. So there you go. Just uh, how you can sort of do things with PDF. Don't forget um, that you can use PDF Exchange. It's free and downloadable. And there's a certain, some of these things are available on Adobe Acrobat. And yeah, the Control E it just looks after the text. And if there's other things that you want to do or you think you should be able to do, um, just uh, have a go with Mr. Google and Google in what you want to do. Maybe type in Adobe Acrobat. Um, sort of change the change the uh, alignment or you know align it straight or something like that. And you'll find various um, YouTube videos and information on the on the web that will answer these useful questions for you so there you go happy pdfing